Hello, Mr. Peckett here again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to access your work once it's been marked by your child's class teacher. So we're back on our shared drive again, and we're going to go through our normal Google Apps, our nine little dots, and to the classroom. And then we're going to click on our child's class. Remember, like I've said, near the videos, you should just have one there, and there it is. That's our class here. And we're not concerning ourselves with the stream again today. We're just going to be looking in our classwork, because that's what we're looking for. And you'll see at the top here, there's this section that says View Your Work. And if I click that, that takes me through to everything that I've got to do. So um, it shows me all that's been assigned, everything that's been returned, and anything that's missing. Now, um, missing pieces only normally show up if work's been given a set due date. We're not going to be doing that. So if you've got things in there at the moment, don't worry. That's just because of how we've um, been sort of finding our feet with Google Classroom. You don't really need to worry about the missing section. Uh, what the one we're going to concern ourselves with today is the returned section. Now, at the top here, you'll have your child's name. Um, obviously, this is a test account I'm on. So um, your child's name will appear up here. And any work that's been returned should come back with a little tick here. Now, this one here that's got a little uh, 100 out of 100, you don't have to worry about that because that's something that's used more in secondary schools and in their academic places in America. They give things point system, point scores out of 100, and then they get tallied up. We're not doing that. You're just looking for this tick here to say that your work has been checked and been sent back to you. So if I click on this specific assignment you can see there there's a private comment from the teacher there saying super effort and if i do view details there's the whole of the assignment again for me here uh, and here's the teacher's comment just here if i want to make a private comment back to my teacher about something so uh, thank you Mr. Pickett. i can send that back to the teacher that way um then if i click on my piece of work if i've resubmitted my sorry if i've submitted my um my schoolwork as a document and i've either done it in google docs or i've done it in word when i click it it'll appear like this now what that means uh, is you can see everything that's been commented on it and what we're going to do in a marking way is be highlighting things specifically on each document and there'll be little comments next to it so here you can see this a particular child has misspelled a word here, so I've put a spelling and given them the first few letters to try and find out how to spell it, and also another one just there. Uh, and that's how you'll be able to view it if it's a, um, a document, uh, a Word document or um, a Google Doc file. Um, you don't need to resubmit these. Resubmission is more for um, universities and things like that where you might be given some uh, critical points on a piece of work and then be told to change those and then resubmit your work so the teacher can see it as soon as it's been returned to your child that basically just means we've marked it we've looked through it we're happy with it and that's for them to have it back and look at and take on board our feedback um if you submit your work um as a pdf file using um the drawing on um doc hub that we talked about in the other video or if you've been taking pictures and sending those over the same sort of thing applies but it's slightly different so here's another assignment where i've submitted a pdf file as my work and again you can see all of the normal pieces here you can leave your own comment down here the private comment back to the teacher so nobody else in the class sees that and if i click on the work that i submitted it comes up looking like this now you can see here there's some highlighted points but you can't see what those are uh, this is a bit of a fault with Google Classroom, but to be able to see what it is that your teacher, why your teacher has highlighted those things, what you need to click is these three dots in the corner where it says more actions and do open in new window. And that will bring up a new tab for you. And you can see when it opens in this tab, you can see at the side here where I've highlighted those sections tells the child what specifically I was marking on this piece. So it might be here, there's a piece of missing punctuation. So there's a, a thing there that says punctuation. This one is highlighted because it's a, a misspelling. So the child can then see, oh, I've misspelled that and look into how to spell it correctly. And again, the same with this, once you've finished with it, you don't have to resubmit this work. Once children's work has been returned to them, it doesn't need resubmitting. It is just a case that the children are able to get the work back, look at it and be able to analyze the feedback that we've given them for future pieces of work. I hope that's been a help to you and 